India space journey began on a bicycle. This one. This cycle is ferrying a rocket cone. It belongs to India's first rocket. One that India procured from the United States and launched from the site of a church. The year was 1963. The sleepy town of Thumba in Kerala had caught the attention of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the father of India's space program. In his opinion, the fishing village of Thumba was perfect for India's inaugural launch. A church was located at the site of the Earth's magnetic equator. If India wanted a glitch-free blast-off, it needed to secure the perfect launch site. So the church's reverend decided to help. He invited the scientists for, for a Sunday mass. He told the villagers about India's space dreams. After the villagers' nod, the reverend handed over the church to these scientists. Now, there were no labs in Thumba, so cattle sheds had to be turned into laboratories and storage units. There were also no canteens, so scientists working on this project had to ride to the nearest railway station for their meals. There was just one car, it was a busy jeep, so payloads and rocket paths were transported on bicycles. That is how India launched its first rocket. The year, remember, 1963. The date? the 21st of November. And it was the beginning of India's space journey. India had just gotten started. Within four years, India built its own rocket from the experience it gathered in Thumba, the RH-75. It was India's first indigenous rocket. It was launched in 1967. By 1975, India had built its own satellite. It was named Aryabhat, after the Indian astronomer and launched from Russia. Back in Bangalore, a toilet was converted as a satellite's data receiving center. Amazing stories. India came together to celebrate Aryabhat. The satellite's photo was printed on Indian currencies between 1976 and 1977. Aryabhat made ISRO a household name. It was started in 1962 as the Indian National Committee for Space Research. In 1969, it was renamed the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. India's love affair with astronomy was dated further back in history to the year 499. That's when Aryabhat began writing on space. There was no paper then, so it was on a palm leaf that Aryabhat noted that the earth was round and rotated on its axis. In the year 598, Brahmagupta was trying to calculate the circumference of the planet. In 1981, when India was trying to launch its first communication satellite called Apple, scientists needed a metal-free mode of transport to ferry the payload and to conduct an antenna test in an open field. The payload was ready, but the challenge was to find a metal-free vehicle. What could that be? Even cycles have metal. So India's legendary Jugaad once again came to the rescue. The payload was carried on a bullock cart. Take a look at this photo. India's space journey has many such memorable milestones. Take 1984, for example. Rakesh Sharma became the first Indian to fly to space. He was an Air Force pilot. He was on board the Soviet Union's Soyuz T-11 that went to space. Sharma and other crew members held a press conference from the skies. Indira Gandhi was the Prime Minister of India then. Their exchange is etched in the memory of every Indian. ऊपर से भारत कैसा दिखता है आपको? जी मैं बगैर किसी झिझक के कह सकता हूँ कि सारे जहाँ से अच्छा In 2014, India was once again filled with pride when it became only the fourth country in the world to reach Mars. What's more, Mangalyaan also became the world's most cost-efficient Mars mission, a title the mission still holds. Mangalyaan cost India four and a half billion rupees. That's $74 million, which is less than what Hollywood spent on making the movie called Gravity. It had a budget of $100 million. Even the movie Martian cost more than Mangalyaan. India has come a long way with a small budget. There was a time India would use foreign launch pads. Today, India launches foreign satellites from its soil. Till date, India has launched 342 foreign satellites of 34 countries. India has conducted 112 space missions, 82 launch missions, two re-entry missions. India has also sent 12 student satellites into space. Remember the sleepy village of Thumba? 
Today it is home to VSSC, the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. ISRO has as many as 45 such centers around the country. With every launch, it brings space exploration closer to the heart of Indians. The country stayed up all night tracking Chandrayaan 2. The mission did not manage to safely touch down on the moon when images of a teary-eyed ISRO chief made Indians more resolute than ever to not let anything come between India and its space dreams. Today, Dr. K. Sivan, Kalpana Chawla, Rakesh Sharma, they are among India's tallest idols. Space dominated India's popular culture. We've had an ISRO top scientist as president. This is Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam working at ISRO in his early days. India has taken huge leaps since. Today, it is privatizing space exploration, supporting innovation, creating newer groups to further India's space journey. Today, India is looking to build its own space stations and create its very own fort in the space age. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.